So why is our sky blue? Well, the light from the sun actually contains various amounts of the spectrum of visible light, as well as other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. And when this light passes through our atmosphere, the nitrogen and oxygen present scatter the light. The shorter wavelengths of blue light are actually scattered more than the longer parts of the visible spectrum, just like when you see light passing through a prism. We're also actually to produce equal proportions of light across the whole of the spectrum, our sky actually would probably look purple rather than blue. The effect of this scattering can be noticed when our sun is low on the horizon, since the sunlight will have actually passed through a lot of the atmosphere before you actually see it. Most of the blue light will have been scattered, leaving just the red and the yellow light behind, meaning that you'll notice the sun has a much more orange hue to it than it does at midday. This leaves us then with the related question, why, if light is made from all different wavelengths, are leaves just generally green in colour? Well, technically speaking, you could say that leaves are actually every colour except green. The reason why you see the leaves as being green is they absorb all parts of the spectrum except the green part of the spectrum, which they reflect off of their surface towards your eye. The reason why you don't generally get uh, use the green part of the spectrum for photosynthesis is that the red part of the spectrum, both the visible and the infrared, actually has far more energy in it than the other parts of the spectrum. And blue, an especially ultraviolet part of the spectrum, is actually present in far greater proportions from our sun than other parts of the spectrum, which is why, even though you can't see it, this part of sunlight is actually most dangerous to expose skin. Now the chemicals that plants tend to use for photosynthesis is something called chlorophyll A, which gives you the familiar green colour of the majority of the leaves. But not all leaves are the same shade of green, and some are not even green at all. For the most part, the chemicals that they use to convert sunlight are not as efficient as chlorophyll A, but sometimes either when shaded by a green canopy or for other reasons, plants do use other chemicals to convert sunlight into energy. These, what are known as accessory pigments, have exotic names varying from just plain chlorophyll B to carotenoids, xanthophyllis, anthocyanins, psychobilins. Some of these also have a role in colouring various roots and fruits and flowers of plants as well as producing energy. They're far less common than the familiar chlorophyll A. And that's why leaves are green.